Hey guys, I'm Michelle. This is my wheelchair Betty. You're watching Rubber Wolves NYC. So normally, because I am on fixed income, I do well. I do go out. I don't go out where I have to spend money on things. Usually, when my friends come over, we just hang out in my apartment. We make dinner or just sort of like like roam the city, having fun. But we don't really go places where that costs money. But one thing that I always wanted to do, like, I always wanted to go to Lincoln Center. The problem was tickets to Lincoln Center are not cheap. And then uh, a friend of mine online was saying how they do have these discount seats. And lo and behold, I checked out the website and some of the discount seats are wheelchair accessible. Carpe diem, let's just, let's just do it once because the Alvin Ailey dance group, who I've also always wanted to perform because they are like amazing beyond amazing, was going to perform at Lincoln Center. So go to Lincoln Center to get my ticket in person. Now I'm showing up in my wheelchair because that's the only way I travel. I asked for a wheelchair accessible seat. He said, here's one ticket for you. So what happened next was unexpected and shouldn't have happened. So it's the day of the performance. I'm all like, eee! I'm like, <laughs> and then it came time where they started to take our tickets and let us into the theater. And the usher led me to my wheelchair accessible spot, which oddly enough wasn't really a spot. Like there was no removed seats where I could like park myself in my wheelchair. I was kind of just placed in the aisle. And I'm like, well, that's weird. So then a couple minutes later, the usher comes back and, and he, he says to me, so when were you planning on uh, transferring to the theater seat? I was like, I wasn't, what? You know, because <laughs> that's not really, if I have to transfer out of my wheelchair into your seat, that's not wheelchair accessible. And I said, I wasn't planning on transferring out of my wheelchair. So he goes, okay. So then a couple minutes later, he brings back the manager who explains to me that I cannot be in the aisle because that's a fire hazard. She then explains to me that usually what happens is that customers arrive, first of all, in their manual wheelchairs, obviously, I have a motorized wheelchair, and then they are able then to transfer out of the seat into the theater seat, which is when the staff takes the manual chair, folds it up, and puts it kind of in the closet, and then when it's time to leave, the staff brings it back, and then the person gets the wheelchair back, and that's how they do it. And I'm like, one, not everyone has a manual wheelchair, two, not everyone can get out of their wheelchair, and three, that's not wheelchair accessible. And she said that I would have to either transfer from my wheelchair, to the theater seat or I can't watch the performance. Now at this point, it's like, no, it's like, I just can't have nice things. And I, I was also feeling very embarrassed. I was imagining that a lot of people were like staring at what was going on and I just, even though I wasn't doing anything wrong, I felt embarrassed. I also felt angry because this was some bullshit. I explained this to the manager. I said, listen, I went there in person. I asked for a virtually accessible seat. No one said to me that I had to then get out of the chair. I said, no, I said, this is this is discrimination. But the manager went, well, okay, hold on, hold on. And then she, she said, she, she left for a moment and then she came back, she says, okay, if this is okay with you, we'd like to offer you an upgrade on, on your seat. She said that there were some open spaces on the balcony. It's a value of $100. And she said that it was wheelchair accessible. So if you like, we'd like to move you up there. Honestly, part of me didn't even want to be there anymore. I just wanted to like go home and call up in a ball, like cry my eyes out. But I was like, you know what? You're here. It's Alan Ailey. Uh, just go there and enjoy the show that you came to see. And so I, I went there and I have to say, I mean, Alan Ailey is an amazing dance group and that part I don't, I don't regret going because Revelations is an amazing show. But while I was there, I mean, honestly, as amazing as they were, I was like half present in the show, but half I was still like reeling and feeling really crappy about what happened. And finally the show ended and I just went home. You know, part of me was like, you know what, I don't want to deal with this crap anymore, I just want to move on. But like, no, let me, let me write a letter to, to Lincoln Center. So I, I wrote the letter and I got a response from the senior manager of the Department of Visitor Services and Accessibility. The Lincoln Center has a whole department supposedly dedicated to 
accessibility in the theaters, and yet I had to explain to them the basic definition of wheelchair accessibility. What? If I'm a customer, if I'm a paying customer, I should not have to educate you, especially as a large theater, as to what constitutes wheelchair accessibility, especially when you got a whole department supposedly dedicated to accessibility. What are they doing if they don't know what wheelchair accessibility means? And the question remains, what would have happened if I had not advocated to myself and say, hey, no, that's discrimination. Would I have been escorted out of the theater? Or would I still gotten the upgrade? I'm not so sure I, I would have. 